I have been a nurse for about 14 years and 11 out of those 14 years I've been doing diabetes education and uh, education in general, health education in a community health setting. My research project um, has to do with education and it's in the diabetes um, world. Um, I have done diabetes education for 11 years and many of my patients were Hispanic and one thing that I have found was similar among my patients was that when a di diagnosis of diabetes was given um, it was to them it was major uh, emotional um, it was, it was like a death sentence, and many of them told me. Many of them said, you know, this is, I'm gonna die, uh, I'm scared. Um, sometimes they blame themselves for getting diabetes. I should have done this, I should have done that. Um, but I think when it hit me that fatalismo really is a barrier to diabetes care is when it happened to my mother, when it happened to me. When, when my mother got diagnosed. Um, my, my mother got diagnosed and I didn't find out about two weeks later. She didn't tell anybody that she had diabetes. Um, she called one day and said, uh, hija, me voy a morir, daughter, I'm gonna die. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking the worst case scenario, thinking, okay, cancer, she had a heart attack. I, I just, it was just an unbelievable amount of fear when she said that. And then I said, what's wrong? She finally told me I have diabetes. And to me, the word diabetes was a relief because diabetes can be controlled. It doesn't have to be a death sentence. And, and I think that's, that's what prompted me to, to focus so much on this project because if she went through this, many other patients are going through this. So I wanted to eliminate misconceptions about diabetes so that patients really take control of their disease so that they can have a better outcome and decrease premature death.